Okay, today I want to show you how to uh, make recordings to upload to YouTube of video game play. Um, this, the e easiest way I found to do this is by downloading MSI Afterburner, a program which I've had for years, but I never realized it would do video recordings. It seems to be it's the most efficient video game recorder out there as far as it has less effect on lowering your frame rate while you're playing, and it creates MPEG or actually it creates AVI files, but it creates files that are relatively small in size compared to other programs. I'm recording this video with Corel Video Studio and Corel Video Studio has a um, screen recording screen capture program. So when I click on... Okay, so the first thing you would have to do is open up MSI Afterburner. So here we have MSI Afterburner is open and you go down to the bottom of the screen where it says settings and in settings you want to go to video capture the video format is MJPG compression and I have the video capture hotkey set as insert I think the standard one is F12 or F9 I can't remember but it wouldn't work for me so you just hold your, you know, you hold hold down on it and um, press whatever key you want to use as a hot key. You want to use a hot key that you won't be using in the game for anything else because if you press like F8 or F7 or some other uh, hot key, then, um, you know, I mean, it's like if you used M, M would open maps in Far Cry 3, but you know you don't want to be starting and stopping your video production every time uh, you open your maps. So anyway, you find a key that is not going to be in use and use that. And then the frame size is 16 by 9, 1080p, and you've got a drop-down menu here. You can choose other options. Um, what I find in this uh, setting here is that you, you know if you go down to the bottom here you know you have your sound is um, capture direct sound capture device you can put none and you won't get any capture device but if you have a direct sound capture device then another drop down bar will show up and in it you can you can uh, select auto select or microphone in which case I have microphone selected and that's it so the way this is going to work is that the minute I press the insert, it's going to start recording. And when I press the insert again, it's going to stop recording. So let's just uh, show you an example. You know, we'll just do a little Far Cry. So you go, go to games, load your game up. So I want to point out to you that I am recording it with a uh, Corel a screen capture, but I'm going to stop that at this point, and I'm going to start recording a segment using the um, MSI Afterburner. Well, let's see if we can do them both at the same time. I don't know that that's possible, but let's just try. Okay, I'm going to hit the insert key, and you see in the upper left corner there's a little uh, circle of purple lights yeah, that keeps here. going around. It, that means it's Historic busy recording. And it, it's slowed down a little bit, probably because of both screen captures going at the same time. But we're just going to record a couple instances of this and edit it. I got the, the D50. Okay, we're going to stop it by hitting uh, insert again and you can see it in the upper left corner maybe it's a very small purple circle going around I hit insert again and it stops now I'm going to hit the screen capture and stop the screen capture which is um, the hotkey to stop screen capture for Corel is F10 I created this uh, little file this is an MSI afterburner AVI file as opposed to a WMV file which is a uh, Corel's uh, file form for doing video capture. So I take it, take the title here and drop it down to this section here because I want to show this is the start of where it is. I click outside the area so that the, that the title is no longer highlighted and you should be able to see 
the title is. And you see in the upper left corner, yeah, it's not playing for some reason. There it's playing. So you can see that the title is placed on the video. Corner, there's a little uh, circle of purple lights that keeps going around. That means it's busy recording. So let's say we want to edit this out. We're going to come up here and cut it and put a cut line through it. And then we're going to place the next cut line where we, the section we want to remove is going to be. So I just hit the space bar or you can hit the, the arrow up here and it moves on. And it's, let's say I want to rec the cut it right here. So I can just put the other cut line in there, highlight the area. So there's a yellow box around it so I know what I'm talking about. Hit the delete key and it's removed. So you can record your videos, import it into the timeline, which is down here, cut it up and re and uh, take out sections that you don't like or, or that are too long. You know, you can just shorten things up so somebody doesn't have to watch endless hours of you walking from one segment of the screen to another or something like that. And you can just cut it up and edit it. And then once you're done with edit editing or adding, um, you know, special effects uh, screens. I'll just add this one in here and drag it down here and then highlight outside the box. We'll drag it over and we'll hit it again and you can see what it looks like. Recording. It's slowed down a little bit probably because I have both screen captures going at the same time. So anyway, you can do that. You can add, uh, um, you know, fades. Um, you know, transitions, you can add special effects, you can add pictures, you can do whatever you want to your video. But capturing it in, in MSI and then adding the MSI AVI file, and you know, you can upload an AVI file directly to YouTube. The uh, videos that I make are, you know, fairly high quality, and they're supposed to be able to be played in HD, at least at 720 and it usually takes about uh, a gigabyte of file to make a 15 minute presentation at that quality 1280 so i hope this helps you you know experiment around with making your own screen captures of your video games and putting them up for people thanks for watching